He spent a whole bunch of money to convert a P-51H to a P-51D. Oh, P-51H is a... Is a Anybody here, Corsair? So that, that's what's strange about it. It's like, why would you even do that when you could go out and... Look over your right there? shoulder. Listen carefully to this aircraft as it gives you the sound of round. It saw service primarily in World War II and the Korean War, and by chance fought, and in some cases, three years. This one is a Goodyear Corsair. They are designed to be a carrier-based aircraft. Between 1944 and 1945, became capable carrier-based fighter bombers from World War II. These particular aircraft achieved a kill ratio right around 11 to 1. It served almost exclusively as a fighter bomber throughout the Korean War and during the French colonial wars in Indochina and Algeria. In addition to its use by the U.S. and the British, the Corsair was also used by the Royal New Zealand Air Force in the French Naval All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's not over yet. The Spitfire and P-40 are inbound from the right. The American Dream leading the way in the P-40. We may just have some excitement going on out there in the weeds, too. Watch out. They're going to be looking for them. As was mentioned here in Geneseo, we are so fortunate to have many different types of aircraft that have served for us, many different from the right. Now the, now the, now the 
characters are going to have to land in the smoke. Yeah. Museum. On the wall, look around, we're 